Hey there, welcome to my studio here in New York City. I'm Daniel Norton, and in this video, we're gonna talk about setting your exposure without a light meter. If you're interested in technique videos like this, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you get the notifications, and let's talk about this. So one of the things I always say is, a handheld light meter is great because you can set up your lights, the power of them and everything before your client gets there. So the first frames are great and perfect. Now TTL, being through the lens metering in your camera, does the same thing on a lot of levels, but not all of us have that. So using a, a tool like this, this is a, a PhotoVision digital target. This is gonna allow us to set our exposure and our white balance for that matter before our client gets there. And let me show you how. Okay, so we can see here that this has a black, a gray, and a white side, okay? Effectively, this is gonna allow us to make a histogram. On a, as a side note, this is also neutral, not 18% gray that you sometimes hear, but neutral gray. So we're gonna use it for our white balance as well. But let's just start with exposure. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put it into our shot, basically where the client will be. Now it's important to have your light in, in the right spot, obviously. And in my case, I've got this, these numbers on the back that set the power of my flash. You might have like full power, half power, whatever. You want to put the flash somewhere in the middle of that range. I don't mean half power, but somewhere in the middle of the range. So if you've got like 10 stops of range, like I do here, I'm putting it at five. That's where we're going to start. I'm not going to use this flash. I'm going to use the one over there in the softbox. Okay, so with my flash set at five, which I have it now, and my remote on top is in manual, I'm basically going to just take a photo of my target. I'm going to frame it up in the center as best I can. It doesn't have to be in focus or anything. It just needs to be there. Get as much of it in the frame as you possibly can. I'm tethered into Capture One here. We can see this. And basically what we've got is uh, an image of our target. But this actually looks pretty good, to be honest with you. And what we're going to do is I'm going to grab the, the crop tool. And I'm going to crop out an area that is roughly equal. The other way to do this is just to fill your frame as best as possible. But I'm going to basically crop an area that is... Uh, equal to, you know, have equal share of everything. And what we can see here is that our histogram up on the right-hand side, you can see how, or left-hand side, this you can see you've got these three humps. This is basically your, your lights, your, your darks, and your grays. What we want to do is put the grayish area somewhere in the middle. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to go over to my exposure slider here, and I'm just going to grab it, and I, obviously i got to move it over some. And when we get that more or less in the middle, I'm going to look at my reading here, and that's just about one stop. Okay. So I'm going to come back, reset that. Now I'm going to go to my flash. Now I know to give myself one stop, I have to raise the number up by one. So it was on five. I'm moving it up to six. Now I'm at six. I'm going to take another exposure. Okay. And we can see that basically now we've got a nice histogram with the exposure we have, and everything's good. Now the final step here is we're going to grab our color uh, slider here, the white balance slider. I'm going to press my little uh, pencil, and I'm going to come in and click on the gray area. Now, in theory, you can click on whatever area you like. They're all neutral, the black, and we can actually see that depending on where we click, they are slightly different. Which one is correct? For skin tone, I like to use the gray. You can kind of mix it up a little bit depending on your preferences of what you like. If you need even more exacting color, I would use something like an x right chart. But this is great for portraits. It's nice and simple. So now we've got a color where we like it. We've got our exposure where we like it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now, I'm going to make a photo. So now everything that I just did is applied and we're good to go, right? Simple as that. This is a good exposure, good color. And as a final test here, I'm going to now <laughs> stick my face in there and make a photo of me. So I'm just going to take this. I know my spot is pretty much right over this X. Move this out of the way. I'm going to set up the self timer. All right, there you go. Basically, we got perfect exposure, perfect color, without having to meter it directly on me with me being there, obviously, because I was setting it up. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. If you have not already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, uh, ring the bell so you get notifications, and I'll see you next time.